Good morning, my friends. Today is Tuesday, February 8th. It's day 22 of Be Formed, and it's a Tuesday of the fifth week in Ordinary Time. Uh, this afternoon and evening on February 8th at the Cathedral of St. Raymond and Juliet, uh, there'll be adoration from 3 to 7. We're inviting anyone from Be Formed who'd just like to pray together. Uh, nothing special other than the special thing is that Jesus will be on the altar and you can spend quiet time with him. I encourage you to bring your Be Formed book just to identify who's from Be Formed. Um, we have uh, someone who's trying to just organize uh, uh, people getting together. And uh, so that'll be from 3 to 7. Katie will be there from, I think, 3 to 5. Uh, I'll be going to Colorado to baptize my great niece. And uh, so uh, pray for us and be assured of my prayers for you. The words that stand out for me today as I do Lectio Divina with our readings is from the Gospel of Mark. This people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. So we hear uh, Jesus, uh, his disciples are eating their meals, and the Pharisees are noticing that they don't uh, wash their hands. Now, should people wash their hands before they eat? Sure. But they're trying to trap them and say, you know, here are the laws. They had so many laws, and many of them were ritual washings. They were external things that they said you had to do to be a follower of God. And what Jesus is trying to say is, uh, you can be doing all of these external things, but what I want is your heart. What I, what I want is your heart. I'm not saying that rituals are bad things, you know. Many of them are, are meant to give us um, kind of a, a way into our hearts. And so whenever I hear somebody say, I said my prayers, um, I always say, well, did you, did you listen? You know, and saying prayers is a good thing, uh, but what God wants is our hearts. God wants to have this intimate dialogue with you, that intimacy is into me, see. I think what the Lord desires is for us to be real with him, to be vulnerable with him. Hopefully you have a, a friend that you can be totally open with and that's the closest we get to experiencing uh, God's unconditional love. And, and so that's why it's so important to know that God loves us unconditionally. Once we get to that point of knowing God loves us, but to understand that God loves us, it's a game changer. I know for me, I thought God loved everybody else except me because I knew I was a sinner. Um, the lie is that God couldn't love me because of my sin or that I was a product of my sin. The truth is, no matter who we are, no matter what we've done, God loves us and he wants to call us out of our sin. And so he wants us to come before him and be real and be vulnerable and uh, trust that, you know, he's going to be speaking to our hearts. Um, silence can be scary because in silence we encounter God and ourselves. And if we're not comfortable with who we are and if we don't know God's infinite love and mercy, we tend to avoid that silence. And so... Uh, an encouragement this week is not to be all about the externals. You know, we can put on a good show. There's a, that saying, we can fool ourselves, we can fool others, but we can't fool God. And so it's not about what's external, but God wants our hearts. We hear in the first reading today, uh, King Solomon, you know, he's built this incredible temple for God, but you can hear in his humility how he's just speaking to God. He says, there's no God like you. Can it indeed be that God dwells on earth? You know, God, this infinite God, can he dwell here on earth? Um, the heavens can't contain you. But what he's asking is to listen to the cry of supplication, which I, your servant, uh, utter this day. Heed our prayers. Listen to the petitions of your servant and your people Israel. Um, and so he's talking about prayer. He's dialoguing with God. And so let us come before the Lord today in humility. Speak to him like you would your best friend. Lord, I'm really sad because, or Lord, I'm really joyful because, or Lord, I'm not sure what's going on, but this is what's happening in my life. And then spend time uh, listening to his voice or read the scriptures because that's God speaking to us and then dialogue with him uh, out of that. That's how I prepare these videos. I pray with the readings. I look at what jumps off the page at me and then I dialogue with God. This people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, 
We thank you and praise you for your son, Jesus. Help us to trust you. Help us to trust in your infinite love. Help us to be open and vulnerable with you, to have that deep intimacy with you that we desire and that you desire uh, with and for us. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a blessed day, everyone. And again, please like, subscribe, and share, and share this video with one person today who you think it will help. God bless.